Today we're following a story um, that is an update to one we brought you last week about um, Governor Scott's um, audits of uh, several Florida hospitals um, regarding their Medicaid contracts with uh, private insurance companies um, who manage the care of Medicaid uh, enrollees. Last night, um, the governor sent out a new letter expanding the list of hospitals that were going to be included in that audit. Um, originally, Venice Regional uh, Bayfront Health was the only local hospital included, but now the audit has expanded to include um, Doctors Hospital, Englewood Community Hospital, Blake Medical Center, um, and actually the entire uh, Hospital Corporation of America chain, HCA chain um, in Florida, which are 47 hospitals, and uh, community health systems hospitals as well, of which Venice is one. Um, so we'll continue to follow this story um, and, uh, and bring you an update some more in tomorrow's paper. Well, the Tampa Bay Bucks won their first preseason game. We had a story in the paper today, and we'll have something, on a, something to follow up on that victory and a look forward to their game Saturday against the Cleveland Browns. Also, the Rays play the Twins tonight over at Tropicana Field. Both teams are in the race for the wild card berth. And it, tonight's basically opening night for volleyball in the area, and we're going to have plenty of coverage in tomorrow's paper. There was sad news over the weekend. We heard that Merle Regal, uh, the guy who makes the ticket crossword puzzle, died on Saturday of complications from pancreatitis. This guy is a crossword legend. He made his first one when he was six years old. And at 17, he became the youngest person to ever sell a crossword puzzle to the New York Times for $10. He's been making puzzles ever since, and he had a different style than a lot of people way back when. His style was more about making the clues fun and interesting instead of making it merely uh, a trivia quiz. So you would have clues that interlock, that went together. So you would have more interesting things to think about when you're doing the crossword puzzle than just recalling bare facts. Sadly, he's gone, and we're going to have to figure out something else to replace him in Ticket.